welcome back to my channel. So today for you guys, I have some Dollar Tree Easter DIYs. So I was filming this video, and I was filming another Easter DIY video that's going to be out later this week. And when I was filming these, I was asking Matt, I was like, hey, when is Easter? And he's like, it's coming up this weekend. I thought I still had like three weeks to put out videos for Easter, and it's coming up. So these are kind of going out late, and I didn't realize it. I did not realize it. So these Easter DIYs in this particular video are some of my favorite Easter DIYs I've ever done. Specifically these bunnies. I love the bunnies. I also like this truck thing that I did. So I hope you guys enjoy these DIYs. I'm sorry they're coming out so late, but nonetheless, hopefully it gets you inspired. I know a lot of people are probably not going out for Easter this year. Usually we go to like Matt's family and my family. This year I think we're just going to end up here. So Bethany's going to have to figure out how to do some Easter cooking. <laughs> Anyways, thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Let's see if we can get this video to 5,000 thumbs up. And make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're not. And click the bell button so you're notified every single time that I upload. Okay, I can't talk. And one more thing. Again, I do have another Easter DIY video that's going to be out later this week. So keep your eyes open for that. Now let's begin the video. From Dollar Tree, I picked up a couple of these bunny wooden silhouettes. So they're just plain unfinished wood and you can do whatever you like to them. So I'm going to be using these Apple Barrel paints in Snow White and Key West. I mix both of those colors together to get a lighter minty green color. And then I paint the entire bunny with that color. So, I mean, just mix something that you like together. So basically, two shades of... A similar color so I mix that one color together and then I take the Key West paint by itself and I dry brush strokes onto the bunny so it looks like wood if you don't know what dry brushing means you take your paintbrush you don't put it in any water and then when you dip it into your paint you want to remove most of the paint from the paintbrush before you apply it to whatever it is you're applying to and then you kind of go in up and down strokes or sideways strokes so that it ends up looking like a wood grain and that's what I'm doing with just the Key West paint I didn't mix any of that white color in with it so I have that minty color all over the bunny and then the same minty color but just a little bit darker which is giving it the wood grain look I also do the same thing with just the white paint again not mixed with anything else and just dry brush the white paint onto this painting fake wood grain is like some of my favorite thing to do and I don't know why and I body painted for years and I used to love shading so I think that's kind of why I like doing the wood grain thing because it just adds like a lot of dimension so yes anyhow the next thing I'm doing is taking this territorial beige color which is just like a medium brown color and I am just adding wood grain strokes all around the bunny uh, mainly on the edges of the bunny and then randomly on the inside of the bunny not too much my goal here was to recreate this bunny that I got from Big Lots I wanted to go back and get the pink one of this and I never went back because obviously you can't go to stores right now so I tried to recreate it so next up I'm taking these metal word signs from Dollar Tree and I am going to be painting the one that says happy and Easter I just add some white paint to it and then I uh, take the territorial beige color and kind of go around the edges of the letters to make the lettering stand out more. Before I glue that letter down, I take a ruler and that territorial beige color and just kind of paint strokes going down so it looks more like the bunny that I got from Big Lots. There's some lines that are going through it that you could clearly see so I try to mimic that with the paint and then using the ruler to get those straight lines that I needed. So the Big Lots bunny has a flower that's at the bottom of it and it looks like a tail but when I tried to do that with this bunny I added like a little flower sticker it didn't look like a tail it looked like you know a private part so instead I ended up putting it at the top and one looked funny so I just ended up doing like a flower crown up there now these flowers are from Hobby Lobby Hobby Lobby is currently closed and Hobby Lobby is janky to me right now because I don't know they just be doing some funky stuff so you don't have to go to Hobby Lobby you can go to Michaels whatever it might be I had gotten these on sale for two dollars or fifty cents but there's other places you can order from or get flowers from and you know you can get stuff from Dollar Tree as well I just had these and I like the way that they looked so I used them and then I went ahead and glued on my Easter sign 
I made a pink one off camera. I used white paint and this pink parfait color from Apple Barrel. And then I put the happy sign on the pink one. And so now I have these happy Easter bunnies. How cute is this thing? This is like one of my favorite things I've ever made for Easter. They are adorable and I'm saving them for next year for sure. For our next DIY, you want to pick up a planter that you like from Dollar Tree as well as their bigger foam Easter eggs. Now these are the colors they come in. Very vibrant and glittery. You also want to get some of their dowels. They have longer ones and you want to get the longer ones. You also want to pick up some foam. I'm just using the circle foam from Dollar Tree and then some stones also from Dollar Tree. So what you're going to do is you're going to place your foam inside of the planter. If you got one of the square pieces, you got to cut it down to fit the inside of your planter. And then you're going to add your dowel to the center of the foam and then place the stones around the dowel and on top of the foam so that that dowel stays in place. And as you can see, Pepper is in the way. We just gave Pepper a haircut though. Thank God. She looks so cute right now. Th that's before when she her hair was still very long. Next up, you are going to take your eggs and you are going to put them through the dowel. Now, you can place them all on top of each other, like straight up on top of each other. I was kind of angling some of the eggs because I was trying to mimic something that I saw at Walmart. So you really don't have to do what I did. I ended up angling the blue egg, the yellow egg, and then just placing the pink egg at the very top to straight up optional you can get some Easter basket grass and place that over the stones or you can add more stones you can put something else inside of there if you want to you can add a bow to the planter that is up to you so that's how you do a Dollar Tree topiary using Dollar Tree products but I decided to make another one using these eggs that I got from Walmart for dollar and 98 cents they're only 98 cents more per egg than the Dollar Tree ones but it's a very pretty color to me something that I like better and the eggs are bigger so I'm essentially doing the same thing I take a planter that I like so one of the galvanized ones from Dollar Tree I add the foam dowel and the stones I put the eggs through the dowel but this time both of them I just put like straight up and then I went ahead and added eggs to this instead of the grass so the eggs are from Dollar Tree they came in a six pack and I just placed them on top of the stones and then that was it for these egg topiaries. Like I said, you could add a bow to the planter. I was thinking about it. I was also thinking about painting the planter a bit color. I might do that eventually off camera. We will see. But these came out so pretty and I especially like the Walmart one. For the next DIY, I got this plastic bunny. I don't really know what it is. I think it's just like a storage bin. You put candy in it. I don't know. So what I'm doing is I'm just painting the entire bunny white i start off first with like kind of a thin layer of white paint it looks streaky it's going to look streaky if you're using acrylic paint like i am and you're painting it on top of plastic so once you get that initial layer on the second layer is going to take to that paint easily versus the first layer that doesn't take to the plastic the best and then you just keep adding layers until it is the opaque look that you like once you get like the first couple layers on, you can then take your paintbrush and stipple the color on. So basically bounce your paintbrush or sponge on top of the bunny and it really gives it that opaque look. So next I'm taking a light pink paint. It was basically a mixture of that white and pink parfait color. And I'm just adding some pink to the nose, the ears, where the little indents from the mouth are, and then on top of the belly. On the nose, that's the only place where I didn't dry brush the color on. Everywhere else, I dry brushed it on. Again, that means not adding water to the brush and using very little paint on top of the brush to add strokes um, to whatever it is that you're painting. So the color isn't too intense. It almost kind of looks like I took blush and put it on the ears and on the belly of the bunny. Now I got this Happy Easter sign from Dollar Tree and I'm gonna cut off the carrots that are at the bottom and I'm gonna be using specifically the Easter one, but make sure you save the other pieces because you can use them for other DIYs. I'm gonna paint the Easter carrot pink, but before I do that, I take a sanding block and use that to sand the surface of the carrot to try to get rid of as much of the glitter that's on top of there as I can. I couldn't get rid of it all, but I got rid of a good amount of it. And then I go ahead and paint that all a light pink color. Once it's all pink, I take a white paint and you can still see the outline of the Easter part of this. And then I went ahead and used the white paint to paint Easter back on top of that. 
Obviously, you can make this bunny and this carrot whatever color you like. After the carrot is all painted, I go ahead and use some hot glue to glue that carrot down to the bunny so that it looks like the bunny is holding that. You guys, so like I said, I haven't been out to any stores and I'm running out of hot glue and I ordered some from Amazon and it said it was going to come in two days and then I get a notification a day telling me it won't be here for another five days. That sucks. And then that was it for this bunny. This thing came out really cute and I'm keeping this in the front room where it's at right now. It looks really good. Onto one of my favorite DIYs out of this bunch. From Dollar Tree, I got this pink Happy Easter truck. Now, the pink color, I'm not the biggest fan of. I wanted to make it blend in with the rest of the decor that I was making. So I mixed together a light pink color again and I painted the pink pink of the truck so it's still pink it's just a lighter prettier pink to me the sun started to go down this day and I try to use as much natural lighting as possible but I really wanted to continue painting so you are going to see the color right now is a little funky I was mixing some of that mint color that I used on the buddy earlier and using it to paint some parts of the Easter eggs because I wanted this truck to match the other decor that I made so that's why I went with a different pink and I added some of the mint color into this. Next up, I got this love sign during Valentine's Day at Dollar Tree. I went ahead and painted the entire thing white. Dollar Tree does have long pieces like this for Easter right now. They're actually longer than this. They just don't have those wooden looking indents. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be attaching the truck to that as well as the egg and carrot from this sign. I just used a screwdriver to get the egg and the carrot off. And the reason I ended up using the egg and the carrot was because the um, love sign has two holes on one corner and I wanted to cover it up. So to attach these, I'm actually just going to be using double sided foam tape that I got a dollar tree instead of hot glue and that's because I want to reuse this love sign so I just used um, the foam tape so I can put it and take it off easily without destroying the love board I'm going to be taking the banner from this sign that I got from Dollar Tree the banner just says spring and I am going to be gluing that to the truck I think this looks so freaking cute it matched it so well and that's it for this truck picture whatever you want to call it this thing came out so cute you can add two more of those love signs or something similar to it to make this bigger but this is the size I wanted to go with for me personally and I just love the way that it came out let's make some crates so from Dollar Tree I picked up one of these smaller crates and I'm gonna be painting it a pink color again I'm so happy Dollar Tree came out with little crates i had one of the first diy dollar tree crates before and i used jungle blocks to do that it's so much easier now to go to dollar tree and just buy one of these crates and make one with a bunch of jungle blocks so i'm very thankful dollar tree finally got items like this and they got other crates to choose from too they got ones that are slightly bigger than this and then ones that are wider these this one's on the smaller side you want to try your best to get every crevice and corner of your crate and then once the thing is painted and dried um, you can add whatever you want to the inside so I'm going to be adding some floral moss from Dollar Tree to the inside of my crate and then I place some eggs inside of there so Dollar Tree does carry eggs as you guys saw but I got these ones from Michaels and I decided to use these because there are smaller eggs to this whereas the Dollar Tree ones I can only fit three of them in there where it wouldn't look funny. Now I'm going to be taking the family part off of this like picture frame that I got. The family part pops out so I'm taking it out and I'm going to be using that on top of the crate. I went ahead and painted it white and then I could just uh, go ahead and glue it down to the front of the crate. I had a mint color crate that I got from Hobby Lobby for only 74 cents and it was bigger than the one from Dollar Tree and I decided to use that. Let me tell you guys, and I've said it so many times, Dollar Tree has great prices on items, but that doesn't mean that you're always going to get the cheapest item always at Dollar Tree because you can go to Michael's and you can use a coupon to get a crate that's very similar to the one at Dollar Tree for the same price, but it's bigger. So remember that I just I love Dollar Tree, but I'm just saying it's it's not always like the best price you're going to get on everything. So I ended up gluing this blessing sign that came from that three pack of metal decor words from Dollar Tree. I painted it white like I did the other two and I glued that to the front of my crate. I then added some Spanish moss from Dollar Tree so it's more on the brown 
side versus the green moss as you can obviously see and then I added some eggs and a little bit of greenery that I got off from Dollar Tree and uh, the eggs like I said come in a six pack and you can get probably two packs to make this nice and full if you like. That's it for the crates. They came out so cute. Like, I really, really like these Easter DIYs and the colors of them. So now we're going to move on to the last DIY, which is actually the first one I recorded. And then this one just looks so subpar to everything else. So <laughs> I'm still going to share it with you guys. From Dollar Tree, what you want to get is some of like their shadow boxes or their banks. So I'm using these banks because I really like the fake whitewashed wood look to the edges of it. So what I'm doing is I'm taking the back of the bank off. There is a piece of paper inside of there that you could use if you want to. It's just like this white piece of paper and other ones have different pictures. So if you can't find this particular bank, there are um, different banks that you can get and they each have like a different piece of paper in the back of it. So next up, I'm taking some scrapbook paper, cardstock, whatever you want to call it. And I got these very Easter-like colors, pastel, blue, pink, green, yellow. I'm not going to be using the green one. I paid, it was four for a dollar when I got them at Hobby Lobby, but they're originally 59 cents. What I'm doing is I'm cutting pieces of paper to fit the inside of the bank. I can't say I did the best job with this. I struggled a little bit. It wasn't perfect. But you can't really tell. The only one you would be able to tell a little bit more in is when I end up using the shadow box, which you will see in a few seconds. So after I got that piece of paper traced and cut out, I go ahead and glue it to the bank. I used just a glue stick because I had misplaced my glue gun at this point, so I was stuck using the glue stick. Here is the shadow box I'm talking about. I'm going to be putting a carrot inside of this one. It's just a white shadow box. I take the unicorn out of this and then I glue down a yellow piece of paper to the inside of that shadow box. Now I'm taking these wooden cutouts. They're called Color Your Own Ornaments. I have the bunny ones and these carrot ones. I'm painting two of the bunny ones all white and then one carrot one all white. Once they are painted and dried, I then attach them all to the inside of the shadow box. So again, I'm using a glue stick to attach these, which honestly I can't say the glue stick was the best to attach this. So if you got a better glue, like your hot glue gun or E6000, use something like that. But I had to use the glue stick because I couldn't find the glue gun and I can't use E6000 right now. So after these are all attached, I got these stickers. They're just pastel colors. They're letters. Um, Dollar Tree does carry small little letter stickers like this. The only thing is if you want a pastel color, you're going to have to paint the stickers. So anyhow, I am using them to spell out words um, to the bunnies and the carrot. So I did hippity hoppity on the bunnies and I just put Easter on the carrot. Um, I know the song Peter Contail goes hippity hoppity Easter's on his way and it would have been cute to put Easter's on its way on the carrot but it just would have been too long and it would have fit. I will say this I thought that I was going to like the bank ones the best but I ended up liking the shadow box one the best uh, just because the bank one has weird indents in the inside of it and then there's like the hole where you put the coins inside of so I recommend just going all with shadow boxes. But that's totally up to you. And that is it for these Dollar Tree Easter DIYs. I hope you guys enjoy the video. This has some of my favorite Easter DIYs I've ever done. Really cute colors. And remember, if you don't like the colors, you can go ahead and switch it to something that you like. Well, thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys next time. Take care. Bye.